So let's make sure that you understand how to break things into components, and let's also try to help you understand what they're for. What's the point of them? Try to understand them a little bit better. So here I have a displacement. Some dude walked 80 meters north, 30 east. And my question is, how far east did he go? How far north did he go? What I'm really asking you is what is the east and north components of his displacement? So I'm asking you for components. My first step when I'm trying to find components is to draw the original vector, which I've done. Let me label the angle, 30 degrees. My second step was to define the x and y direction. So I'm going to call this direction x, the east direction, and I'm going to call north y. So now I'm going to draw a right angle triangle where the sides are in the x and y direction and the original vector is the hypotenuse. These are arrows. They're not dotted lines. They're not lines without a head. They point in a direction. Make sure that's clear. Now I just do some tricks. So I've got this angle here. The opposite is going to be dx and that's going to be sine. So I can see that dx equals 80 sine 30 and I can see that dy is going to be cos. This is dy right here. dy cos over 80. So dy equals 80 cos 30. Okay. Shoving it in, I get 40 and I get 69.3. But they are both in the positive direction. So I'm going to use my brain and check the sign. That was my last step if you watched the last video on how to do components. So I hope that makes sense. If you walk 80 meters north, 30 east, you will have ended up going 40 meters east of your start point. And you will have ended up going 69.3 meters north of where you started. And let's just double check our answer here because we said the other day that components add up to the original vector. So dx plus dy better give me the original vector. Some of you might look at this and say, no way, 40 plus 69 is not equal to 80. To which, of course, I would say, do you remember how to add vectors? Do you really get it? Or did you kind of half memorize it? How do you add vectors? You add them like this. So looking at the diagram, tip to tail, tail to tip, you can see that 40 plus 69 is not equal to 80. But if we did this right, then 40 squared plus 69.3 squared all square rooted. That better equal the size of the displacement. It better equal 80 meters. And it does, and it will, because we didn't make a mistake. Okay. So hopefully that all kind of makes sense. Components are part of a vector. How much of this vector is in the x direction? 40 meters. How much of this 80 meters was north? 69.3 meters. Don't forget the plus or minus. So what happens if this dude walks north, 80, uh, north 30 east for 80 meters, and then the same person heads west 40 north for 60 meters. What's their x and y component of their second displacement? Well, let's draw the triangle. 60 meters west 40 north. And this is where the mistakes often are, right? You label the wrong angle or you make some silly mistake. So try to be careful. Then I'm going to, I don't need to define my x and y because I already did, but maybe I'll just write it here again so I don't forget. x is that way. So dx is going to be this way. I've got to make a right angle triangle now where the original vector is my hypotenuse and the other two sides are in the x and y direction. 40, the cosine gives me dx. So dx is going to be 60 cos 40 and dy, the opposite is sine, that gives me dy, so it's 60 sine 40. Dumping numbers into my calculator, I'm going to see that dy is 38.6 meters and that dx is 46.0. But dx is in the negative direction, so I've got to remember that negative. And if I get in the habit of putting in the pluses, I might remember the minuses. So I'm going to call that positive 38.6. I should always have a plus or a minus. That might help me remember the negative. When I forget the negative, I'm going to mess up the question.